हेलो फ्रेंड नाउ वी आर हियर ऑन द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक लिमिट फिट एंड टॉलरेंस नाउ इन द ऑल द कंपनी वी आर सीकिंग फॉर द स्टैंडर्डाइजेशन मींस द गुड्स शुड बी इन अ एक्सेप्टेबल रेंज सो फॉर दैट वी हैव द दीस थ्री टर्म्स लिमिट फिट एंड टॉलरेंस नाउ प्लीज हैव अ लुक ऑन दिस डायग्राम इफ यू आर फोकसिंग ऑन द डायग्राम वी हैव द स्पेसिमेन द दिस रेंज इज गिवन यू द बेसिक साइज बट ऑन गोइंग फॉर द डिफरेंट वेरियस ऑपरेशन the size may be vary and it go it's may be go for the rejection shop so in order to avoid that we are giving here the largest acceptable dimension we also giving here the smallest acceptable dimension and the difference of these two dimensions are known as tolerance so dear let understand this concept with a small illustration example suppose i have taken the example basic size is your 50 mm the acceptable range they are given to us that is a plus minus 0.03 Now, if they are going to give us a zero point zero three, now I have the upper limit and I have the lower limit. In the case of upper limit, it should be the sum of basic size and the higher maximum upper limit. And for the lower limit, it should be the sum of the basic size and the lower upper limit. So, my dear friend, upper limit is equal to fifty plus zero point zero three. So we have here fifty plus zero point zero three is mm is your upper limit. If you are talking about the lower limit, it should be the lower limit. Minus the lowest, uh, smallest acceptable dimension. So this is your fifty minus zero point zero three, forty nine point nine seven mm. Which means the upper limit and lower limit is that limit in which we have to play for a uh, sustain. Now the next topic here is your tolerance. As I told you, once we are going for the upper limit and lower limit, the difference of both upper and lower is going to give you the tolerance. Means that is your total working zone. so the tolerance if i taking for the same example the upper limit my uh, lower limit the upper limit is your 50.03 and the lower limit is your 49.97 so on behalf of this the uh, the tolerance will be your 0.06 mm can we make the tolerance say yes this range is known as tolerance which is your larger acceptable dimension minus the smaller acceptable dimension now we are going on the fit fit when two parts are assembled they are going to two possibilities whether it is a tight whether it is a loose so we are going to categorize the fit into three types clearance fit interference fit and transition fit in the clearance fit the tolerance zone will never meet in the interference fit the tolerance zone will never meet but they cross each other and in the case of transition fit the tolerance zone are always overlap now let us start the journey of the clearance fit If you have illustrating the diagram, in the diagram we have taken the hole and we have taken the shaft. In the case of the hole, we have the upper limit of the hole and we have the lower limit of the hole. At the same time, we have the upper limit of the shaft and the lower limit of the shaft. My dear friend, whenever you are talking about the difference between the upper limit of the hole and the lower limit of the shaft, that is known as your maximum clearance. If you are talking about the lower limit of the hole and the maximum limit of the shaft. that is your minimum clearance so this is your clearance it always give you the loose fit now if you going for the interference fit in this case we have the hole again we have the shaft now this is the upper limit of the shaft lower limit of the shaft uh, upper limit of the hole and lower limit of the hole now in this time we have the maximum interference and minimum interference for the maximum interference the lower limit of the hole minus upper limit of the shaft the lower limit of the hole minus upper limit of the shaft this will give you the maximum interference and if you are talking about the minimum interference the upper limit of the hole upper limit of the hole and the minimum limit of the shaft this distance is known as my dear friend your minimum interference now uh, we are going for the transition fit this fit sometime it behave like a loose sometime it behave like a uh, means tightening so in this case the tolerance zone always overlap we have here two type of condition generally uh, uh, generate maximum clearance and maximum interference so again this is a hole upper and lower limits the shaft upper and lower limit as we know maximum clearance when the upper limit of the hole minus lower limit of the shaft that is your maximum clearance if you are talking about the maximum interference as we have seen here that is your lower limit of the hole minus upper limit of the shaft so these are are the clearance and the, the different Uh, the condition of the fit so by mean of this we are able to make the material and uh, any specimen as per our requirement to meet the specification and the standardization thank you very much for watching the video stay and tune with us thank you very much